tell me first of all, what kind of cancer was it? Well, it was a rare type of Hodgkin's lymphoma. It attacked the white blood cells. I actually don't know like the, the full name just because it's so long, but yeah. When did you find out about this? Uh, we found out that I had cancer when I was about five or six years old in kindergarten. Well, it was about, I was, I was sitting on the couch. It was me and my mom and my dad was in the chair across the, across the living room. We were sitting there, we were getting ready to go to bed and my mom was, my mom felt my arm and she was like, she was, she was kind of getting worried because there was a, there was about a golf sized, like golf sized ball on my, on my arm, but right here. And so whenever she felt that, she was like, okay, we need to get you a doctor because something's wrong, something's not right. So they did, they did have to do a lot of blood work. They had to do a lot of blood work to figure out what was wrong, if my blood counts were wrong or if they were down. So they had to do all, all kinds of different stuff. They had to, do, uh, had to do a lot of EKGs and stuff on my, on my body just to make sure it was popping up nowhere else. So what they did after that, they actually did a uh, surgery. So they had to do surgery on my arm. Once they did surgery on my arm, I had to go into chemotherapy. I had to do all chemotherapy. I had about, I don't know, maybe like eight rounds of chemotherapy. Once I did that, uh, I was all cancer free. There wasn't ever a talk of me never ever getting to play sports, but definitely when they, when we had to put my port in, it was definitely, you can't play sports until it's gone. So it was about a year of me not being able to play any type of sport. I mean, I could go play like a kid, go to the playground or whatever, but I couldn't do a physical contact sport with a port in. How much do you now think about these days of what you had to experience back then? Oh, I definitely think it, I definitely think it helped me out a lot. Just knowing what like I had to go through, like I can actually feel what other people have to go through if they have to go through it. So I've done multiple different things. I've done a lot of, uh, a lot of different like TV commercials for UAMS, which is, it, it helped a lot of kids out. I think it just proved to prove to them that just cause I have cancer, it doesn't mean that you can't go do whatever you want to do. You still have a dream and whatever you want to do, you can't accomplish it.